Wait, what day is it? Tuesday. No, you have to return. <laughs> Shh. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. has this whole it's, spiel no, before we get Tuesday, on air. Or as I like to call it, Denim day there is what it is because go. Shannon has it's denim. Day. She's denim head to toe. Do you have denim shoes on too? I think like I have denim jeans. You know, it's a good I thing. I will have <clears> denim shoes on. It's a good thing you're wearing it because denim goes perfect with. Are you denim? I, yes, I know. I have some denim and I have turquoise because of our today's special. That's why I wore this. Nice. Nice transition. I just wore it. I, didn't, I forgot that it was. <laughs> now it, it's. It matches the Kingman it, turquoise. Your yeah. shirt isn't Kingman turquoise. Not just any turquoise. Uh, this is from the Kingman mine. This is very, very special um, and very, very limited as well. In fact, I think we brought in a hair over, well, just under 3,000. And we only have 1,500 left, so you can wow. say that they're already they're already going. Why? Hey, listen, I know this is a considered purchase, but you are getting a boatload of the best turquoise available at 279.95, which are going to take $100 off the price. Mm -hmm. um, all handcrafted by Native Americans, and the first ones to do so. Um, you know that tradition goes back. I don't know, like a thousand years I'm or sure. something. You know, I lived in Arizona for for uh, uh, several years, and and I visited. I've, I've been to this mine. I've been to the Vulture Mine in Wickenburg. Oh. I, we did this whole like it was like a, instead of a wine tour, it was a mine tour, <laughs> where we, we cool. you would do that when you were in Arizona. And I will tell you, it's the most amazing thing. And when you see the effort that goes into oh, to uh, you know farming out this this turquoise, it's unbelievable. Um, well, you can see why it's so <sighs> highly prized. Look this at the has color. Five bezel set yeah. Kingman yeah. turquoise set in this beautiful it almost looks like a ruffle the way that they did that yeah. that handcrafted that sterling silver and it's a cuff now you can adjust the cuff to whatever size you want but we do right. have three different sizes petite small small medium or medium large and the petite small fits a six and a quarter inch wrist uh, the it fits let's see here is that right yes Petite small is six and <laughs> a quarter. I looked at my card and I was like, whoop. And then uh, uh, that's for the, the six and a quarter is a large, right? Oh, hold on. Small, five and a half to six and a quarter inch wrist. There right, it is. Right. Small, oh, we're looking at our it. cheat sheets right they here. They didn't coordinate yeah. it yep. properly small for us. Small is a <clears throat> six and a quarter to a six and three quarter inch wrist. And the medium large is a six and three quarter to seven and a quarter inch wrist. But right. look at this. Because this is that handcrafted silver, now I actually just widened that cuff. Pulled yeah, it right it's soft off, enough. and then you can really make yeah. this hug your wrist. It's right. fifty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents to get home, and we know this is this is an investment. It's a five hundred and seventy-five dollar appraised value yeah. for two seventy-nine. But this is that piece you were talking about. You even have pieces that were your father's. Yeah. These my dad had last some, a lifetime. <clears throat> yeah, he did. He handed those down to me, and, and um, I've actually got two rings that I mm -hmm. love, and uh, one is coral and, and, and turquoise, and the other is just turquoise, and they never go out of style. They always yeah. look great. They're the coolest things ever. You know, if you go out in the Southwest and you look, you'll see, I think you will see, you'll see cheap turquoise out there. You'll see a right. lot of it because a lot of the rough that the, that the fine jewelers uh, don't use is left to the side. And then, you know, people will make, they make beads out of it. They make, they make neck, neck chains and things like that. But the quality that goes into these is unbelievable. We're just showing you some of the stills of some of the Native Americans working on it. Um, the artist that designed this uh, is amazing. He's, uh, I believe he's uh, related to one of the earliest original artists that were there. Um, it, it's just, it's just really time, time consuming and it all has to be done by hand. None of this stuff is stamped out. Uh, oh the, gosh, the, the metal work all, you know, and it's involves so many different artists, the metal work mm -hmm. and all that. And then having to, to put those cabochons and set them in there and, and carve them out to the perfect size. But what really takes these over the top is not, not even that, it's, it's the quality of the stones because that's what it is in turquoise. I mean, anybody can find just a washed out sort of a basic light colored turquoise, mm -hmm. but the color on this is very deep and that Kingman mine is known for the veining in, in, the, in it. And if you, you can actually look at the mountain and see turquoise. It's really cool. Wow. It's faint and you don't, you know, they don't use that. They use the stuff that they, they mine, but it's, it's really, really cool. It's it an experience. It is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Well, you can get this piece. This is our only Native American jewelry line here at HSN. It's also, a one-of-a-kind piece. Each one of these cuffs is handcrafted and one of a kind. So just like, because it's genuine gemstone, this comes from the earth like this with the veining like Guy was talking about. Each one is so different. We do right now have coordinating rings. Look at that, oh my goodness. Okay, only a few hundred left to go around with for the ring. And then we also have earrings available because this is your chance to be able to get the entire suite if you like. Uh, and as Guy was saying, he was like, he was, you know, kind of teasing me, it's denim day. We've actually got uh, an entire hour with Lucky, 
brand here. And of course, it's always denim when they're here. But turquoise goes so beautifully and seamlessly with denim. I kind of consider it like the denim of your jewelry wardrobe. So those earrings are about $149 for you today, $29.98. We only have, last time I checked, we had about 200 pair left to go around for everybody. And I know it sounds like a lot, 1,500 sounds like a lot for the cuff left, but when you consider that typically for a Today Special, we have thousands and thousands and thousands to go around for everybody, this is your chance to be able to get it. Now the ring, available also, look at that. You really could wear that on any finger. That's a great statement ring. That appraised at $235. It's $139.90 today. Look at that big, gorgeous cabochon. Absolutely gorgeous. And you know how difficult it is to be able to find a piece of turquoise that perfect in that size. This is a big wow. Now, whether you like the aspect of the Native American artistry or you like Southwest or you just want something that's really cute and a great fashion statement, this is your chance to get it. I'll be back with Lucky, but guys got some great household solutions for us. All right, thanks, Shannon. Yeah, we have a great show, and, and I always love when we only put like two or three items in an hour so we can spend some time on it and really show you uh, some of the cool stuff we have. I, I will tell you right now, the next item we're talking about, we've been running around here trying to figure out what, when exactly Father's Day is. Uh, it's not for a couple of months, but I will tell you, if you want to get a head start on Father's Day, there's not a dad out there, or probably a mom either, uh, who would not love the Tiger Wrench. This thing is ridiculous. Whether you've lost the the uh, you know the wrench for your uh, to change your tires or whatever you need it for, doing projects around the house. That's a project, putting a bed together, obviously. You will love this because it is honestly like having a toolbox in your hand. It's already uh, getting five-star reviews. It's already 4.7 stars, like two out of three is a perfect five-star. There's no more fumbling around trying to find the right wrench. Uh, everything is right in your hand. The right tool is right there. It's got this super, tool, uh, super cool technology built in so that it's going to fit all these different <laughs> these different uh, bolt heads, and you can see whether it's uh, whether it's regular or um, standard or metric, it'll take care of all of that. This is the tool itself, and you can see it just fits in the palm of your hand, and you can see how you rotate through the different sizes that you need, and that's how simple it is, and it's got one on one side and one on the other. These are the sizes, so honestly, let me just tell you, moms out there, if you are thinking about getting something for dad's toolbox, this is ideal. You could keep this in the in the glove box of your car. You can take this when you travel. You can put it on your boat, on your RV. You never know when you're going to have to do a quick mix. Absolutely. Matt Davis, the quick mix Guy, fix uh, master. Quick He's fix. Here. That's, That's right, exactly. You, the quick fix master. You know, when I, I was growing up, Guy, I don't know about you, but my dad was a mechanic. He truly was yeah. a blue-collar guy, great mechanic. My, my oldest brother builds cars, literally, from like, here's a piece of metal, go build a car. Amazing guys, right? I have none of that. My gene, I don't know where I got, I don't know, but I have no ability with tools. So whenever I see a tool that equals it out, equal levels that playing field, makes right. it easy for me, I love it. And that's why this is one of the hottest infomercials out there, the Tiger Wrench. This is 48 different tools in one. This has all the different sizes that you need. If you need to turn a bolt, turn a screw head, what, no matter if it's a spline, I had to look that up. What is a spline bolt? I don't bolt? know, but I'm glad to know that, that something <laughs> can take care of the spline bolt. A spline bolt in your life, that's right. But you know what, at the end of the day, this is amazingly well made. It, it covers all the different bolts and sizes. If you're putting something together, if you get one of those boxes where you need to put together a set of furniture, you're putting together a bookshelf or something like that, this is the solution. Yeah. But I wanna show you how easy this is to use. You can see the head here uh, rotates to the different sizes, okay? All the different sizes. Now, if you're like me, you know that you go to dad's toolbox to try to get him a 3 8 inch uh, screw uh, uh, wrench, right. and then he'd say, no, no, it's uh, it's metric. Well, you know, I gotta have a whole separate uh, set of wrenches. No, this has both metric and what they call standard all built in. So let me go to the board here I wanna show you. We've got our little board here that shows you a 3 quarters inch uh, size bolt and a 19 millimeter. You know, that sounds very complicated, right. but at the end of the day, the Tiger Wrench takes Does care of both. both. Then when yeah. you want, if it's a different size, maybe you're at the top of a ladder and you've run into something you didn't expect, all you have to do is flip it. Look at Look that. Look at that. One finger and I'm flipping it and I'm going to the different sizes. I've just took care of eight different size bolts with just a flip of a finger. Now you're saying, wait a minute, now what, down, what about down here on the smaller bolts? 
Look, all you do is you flip the wrench over, now you've got the half inch. Now, you, and that also covers the 13 millimeters. You got seven sixteenths. All these fancy numbers, you know what it means? It means these are all different sizes yeah. for different applications, but you can do it all with one Tiger wrench. It's great. All right, great. So, so let me tell Love you quickly it. that what we did with this uh, coming out of the gate here is we dropped the price by a third. So. I think this was, that's, Kyle, that says $29.95, right? Is that wow. what it says? I'm asking my producer. Yeah, it's $29.95. If you buy it with us today, it's only $19.95. It's less than Amazing. a $20 bill. Mm -hmm. I would chance to guess you'll probably have this for the rest of your life. It's, oh, it's yeah. made it's that well. Of uh, It's a heavy-duty tool. It's not a lightweight tool. It's heavy-duty. But you want, you need something weighty and substantial when you're mm -hmm. trying to turn bolts. You don't want something cheap in your hand. Yeah. You want something heavy-duty. What I love that Matt's showing is how you can articulate the mm -hmm. handle with this so you can get it you know to that yeah. perfect 45 spaces, degrees 45 degrees you can use if you're it, doing an automobile you can flip it yeah right yeah. Or, or as we saw earlier putting together furniture where you are in really tight spaces it's ideal for that too um any virtually any kind of bolt out there you can take care of for less than 20 bucks now we've yep. so, so would we say uh deanna when did we say that once father's day 17. june 17th it's 17th yep. okay yep. so June 17th, so you got a couple months, but you know something that's gonna go by quick. Yeah, and this absolutely. is the kind of thing, see dads, what are you gonna get dad, flowers? <laughs> you gonna get him candy? You can't do that, you gotta get dad like a tool, that's what both? he wants. How I'd about? love to get this well, because what I go through, and I'll just yeah. tell you really quick, what I go through mm -hmm. when I when I work on this, I've got a, I've got yeah. a, a big toolbox. There you go. I actually keep it hidden under this, under a desk in the, uh, in the spare best. room. And I use it, when I go in there, I have to really fish out the different sizes. We're so, or moreover, my son, Dan, when he works on his truck, he takes the whole thing outside and he comes back yeah. and I'm like, dude, you didn't put any of this stuff back. Where yeah, the piece is missing. Which you I guess is it. what kids do, but. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I did when I was. And I'm already missing a couple of those things. Right, so you missed the three quarters inch and that's the one you need next time and you're digging around in here. These are two different kinds of sockets. There's standard sockets and there's what they call deep well sockets. My brother taught me that. Uh, so that you can get down to the tight spaces. But this replaces all of this mess Plus, it replaces all of these. These are called just, uh, you know, box wrenches or just regular old wrenches. There's a three quarters, but uh, wait, I don't need a three quarters. I need the, the, the 19 millimeter. Wait a minute, I need the five eighths. No, here's what I need. I need one tiger wrench to replace all of that. Hey, look so at whether that. you have yeah. a big toolbox or whether you're like me and you just have a junk drawer at home, this is a great solution for that. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Here's and, that. Uh, especially, you know, if you if you don't have anybody to help you out. You Absolutely. Know, I mean, this is, this is so great. So Here's yeah. that here's that deep well uh, that we talked about for like spark plugs and things like that. Sure. So let's say you, that you had to tighten a bolt and it's down, it's threaded here, and you had to tighten the nut here. Well, guess what? Even the deep well isn't going to reach all the way down. Right. But when you grab, look at this, when you grab the tiger wrench, it goes all the it's way down. The back. So yeah. it's open-ended so that yeah. you can get to any of the tight spaces. Now, you may be sitting at home and say, well, that's not that important to me. I don't really care. But when you're faced with that one problem, sure. you're like, wait a minute, how am I gonna how am I gonna get this job done? You know, being a DIY person is about having the right tools. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, and whether you're fixing your kid's bike or doing whatever it is, fix-ups around the house, it's it's always nice to know that, that they, it's all gonna be in one spot spot mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people like I said it's kind of daunting to try to figure out what size I mean by the heck it can take you 25 minutes just to figure out what the heck size bolt that you've got <laughs> and then me. how to be able to to figure that out what's nice about this is you don't have to change them out because I know you know with my socket wrench I gotta pop off the, mm -hmm. the, the socket I gotta pop it back on and I do that five times to try to figure out which one because I can't read what it says on the dang toolbox right. where it says you know it's eight millimeter whatever it is like you can't even read it what's nice is you saw Matt do that demonstration at the beginning he just flicks it till yeah. it gets to the right one Easy. and there's no downtime he doesn't have to get up and go back and get up and go back he just does it right there Here it's it all in one i'm not saying throw away your metric tools or your no. wrenches or that stuff i'm just saying this is the one that you keep in the top drawer this is the one that <laughs> this you keep is the in one your, you you're gonna reach your for this first right. and i'll tell you i just picked this this is my first time doing this demonstration i picked this up my friend john brought this in you know when you you've got uh lawn shears you're going outside you're getting ready to do the do the jobs outside this time of the year you know i didn't know which size this is when john didn't tell me which size this is but look i found the size i can flip it around so easy okay that 
that one's a little loose. Yeah, you and just so graduate I need to flip it back. And, right. and that's it. I didn't have to get down off the ladder if you're doing work is. overhead. You can tighten this and be on your way. Yep. You don't need to, it isn't about drama. It isn't about getting, you know, going up and down the ladder or digging around inside of a big, big toolbox. This yeah. replaces it all. This I is, love it. Hey, listen, and I know it's, it's early in the season. You yep. know, a lot of us are not working on our outdoor chores and stuff mm -hmm. yet because it's still a bit cold outside. But this is an indoor and outdoor tool. And, and I'm telling yep. you, rather than invest in it, and let me tell you this too, this, this replaces so many different tools that if you tried to buy them separately, it would probably cost you 40, 50, 60 bucks to try to buy all the wrenches that you get built in hot inside here because wrenches can be about three, four. Good ones are like seven, eight dollars a piece. Oh yeah. It's all built in. You'll notice when you buy this and you get it home, it, it probably weighs, it probably weighs like two or three pounds. Oh, it's, it's got some weight it's to it. heavy. This is steel, folks. You want this is that not plastic. because remember, the heavier this is, the less you have to use this, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have more what we call torque and you have, uh, it's a more stable base from which to work. That's right. So when you're utilizing it in all these different jobs and think about the jobs you would do it for. So like we, we showed you fixing a bike, maybe you're putting together furniture, maybe you're working on your lawnmower, indoor, outdoor stuff, any um, self-help project. Um, like I said, you put this in the car because you normally, do you take a big giant toolbox in your car when you drive to work? No. But you never know when you're gonna no, need it, yeah, right? It's gonna be, be rattling around. Yeah, this and is even rated. Will work, it even works on the, the you know, on the bolts and the nuts uh, that are yeah. in your, uh, that are on your tires too. So it's, your lugs. That's right. This because is rated it, it, for 300 yeah. pounds. Yeah. So even a man the size of like a Gallo van who, who's super, super powerful uh, could use something like this. <laughs> but, but again, when you get this home, this is a substantial tool. Yeah. This is made, this is corrosion resistant. You can leave this outside. You can leave it in the sure. garage. Just, it's going to last a lifetime. This is a great tool. And it's got all the, uh, the uh, adjustments here. You know, one one of the things I, I wanted to mention, my, I was talking to my wife this morning when I got up, and I said, uh, you know, where would you use something like this? She said, you know, when you put together your um, furniture, in, especially in the kitchen, it seems like we always have the table and chairs, and we, we just moved into a new house. You walk along, and all of a sudden you find a bolt or a nut laying on the floor. You're like, okay, what did that come from? Because, you know, every time you sit down, every time you touch the table, it kind of gets loose. Take this around the house, and you're going to be able to tighten everything up, no matter whether it's metric or, or standard size, no matter what size, big, small. This is going to tighten up all of the nuts and bolts around the house. And again, great for automotive applications. If you have uh, a friend that is a, a mechanic or somebody that helps you out at DIY, great little gift to give. Uh, you, you can't beat it. No, and, and I will tell you, uh, let's go over the features really, really quickly one yeah. more time. So if you're looking for, maybe Shannon knows what a spline bolt is. We'll ask her in a sec. Um, she's, she seems, you know what's good about Shannon? She pretty much knows everything. So we'll ask her if she knows <laughs> what a spline bolt is. You know what a spline bolt is? Yeah, it's that one right there. Which one? That's, That's exactly one. right. How'd you right. know that? That one right there. That she didn't, she didn't point at one. She pointed at the whole thing. Well, that's, that's pretty close. One of the tricks that Shannon that's uses right. to, to seem really smart. Um, <laughs> but here's what I'll tell you. You know what is smart? It's spending. You get twenty dollars uh, on this. You get ten dollars off today. Today's the day to buy it. Don't wait until Father's Day. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit longer on this, but uh, but I'm telling you, no matter what the job is, you know who would love this. Like a, like a professional would love this because oh, it's like while they're working, the last thing they want to do is, is have downtime to go look for the right wrench. That's right. Time and is oftentimes money. Oftentimes they're on a ladder or they're, Time on, they're, is they're, money, they're my friend. down on their back. They're working on plumbing, things like that. This is the way to do it. And it empowers you to kind of be able to do things yourself. And look at how she's uh, able to manipulate That's this. That's it. See, putting That's together the, right putting there. together the bed, putting together uh, ready to assemble furniture. This yeah. is a great tool. And remember, you're replacing 48 different tools. Look at this. There, there's all those sockets yeah. so you don't have to go out and buy. This is literally hundreds of dollars worth the tools you're replacing. This is the box wrench. This is so much easier. Just replace it with one tool. The Tiger wrench does it all. I love it. All right, final few seconds remaining yeah. on this. It's 19.95, and I and remember what I told you. This will take the place of like mm -hmm. like 25 or 30 different wrenches. So this is an absolute uh, no-brainer to pick this. this up. By the way, um, if you would like to get this for 9.95. Matt Davis just reminded me, That's you know, right. if, if somebody gets a new credit card guy, don't they get $10 off? He said, yes, you're right, Matt. I have 15 You're credit so right. cards so far. Um, so you'll get this down to $9.95, and it's a great deal. So, Mr. <laughs> Dave, don't go anywhere because we got the, no. uh, we got Air the Airhawk compressor. Right. We just put together your bicycle, and now we're going to pump up the tires. That, love yeah, it. All right. Baby. All right, now we're all pumped up to see what Shannon's got to say. Hey, Shannon. Ooh. Hey.
Guess what? What? Uh, not only can you take care of spline bolts, it's Tuesday, and that means that this is a chance for you to check in on your health with Healthy You with Brett Chuckerman. And tonight, starting at 7 p.m., he's going to be talking all about getting the best sleep of your life. Of course, he always has a special guest expert. Tonight, his guest expert is actually, oh, there's Brett, um, Healthy You. Tonight, his guest expert is Jeffrey Phillips. He's an ENT surgeon and sleep specialist who will give his tips and tricks on relaxing and encouraging sleep and so much more. It all starts tonight at 7 p.m. Of course, you can actually start shopping all the items in the show right now by going to hsn.com, search Healthy You. All right, we, uh, Guy promised you that he's got the Airhawk air compressor, so let's check in with Guy. All right, thanks, Shannon. Okay, so uh, we had this on the air yesterday, and it f absolutely flew out the door. Uh, Shannon presented it to you yesterday. So uh, so I have it today, so Shannon and I have a little challenge, and, and, and we're going to go head-to-head -head on, on uh, let's see, who, how many no, of these? I wasn't we, here yesterday. No, you weren't here, so it's me and Matt Davis today. But I'm I your X tell Factor. You, I own one of these things, one of the best things I've ever purchased. It is the Airhawk Pro cordless air compressor. First of all, the fact that it's cordless makes all the difference. You know, it's nothing to plug in. You don't need a, a powered up compressor to pump up car tires and bike tires and, uh, you know, air mattresses and beach balls and, and rafts and all that stuff. You can use the Airhawk. It's perfect for any of these different things. Sports balls, summer floaty toys, which, you know, it's going to be here before you know it. It's portable. Uh, it weighs under two pounds. The thing will go anywhere you want. You get every uh, possible uh, extra a little accessory to go along with it. In fact, here's what you get. We're just showing you. Um, you know, it, it works uh, with a charging battery that comes along with it. You charge it up. It's uh, it's uh, about a 20 minute runtime, so it's perfect for doing any kind of job you need to do. Um, it's also got that easy comfort grip, the pistol grip, so it's easy even if you have difficulties with uh, difficulties with your hands. And the cordless technology makes it easy to uh, access anything that you need to fill. So even when you're on the road, you don't have to worry about a plug. You can pump that tire up. Could save your bacon could save your life 68,000 already sold it comes wow. with the 12 volt lithium rechargeable battery and all this stuff we're going to show you and this is the big just really quick here's here's your other option a <laughs> 25 pound what are you going to put that in the glove box of your car you're not going to do that How about this that yeah guess what my mom's not using that thing no 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 Let, let's show everybody how let's it works go over here let's okay. let's show if you're tired of this folks we're replacing all of that that nonsense with a great new tool this is a true air compressor. I love this it. This is not one of those little fans that blows a little bit of air. This will give you up to 150 pounds per square inch. This will fill your car tires. This will fill your truck tires. Any kind of, of uh, air uh, pressure that you need, yeah. this is going to give you right here. Take a look. Again, this weighs less than two pounds, folks. That's why they brought me in because I'm so powerful. This is small and compact. Take a look. Here's the battery on the bottom. You're going to charge that up. You pop this in. Now you're completely cordless and wireless. Take a look. All you do is press one button and you see the blue uh, screen right there. It's a digital gauge. You can set exactly what PSI you need. So let's say that you learn that your car tire takes 34 pounds per square inch. You right. can go up and down and you can set it exactly where you want it automatically it. turns off when it hits the pressure turns off when it hits yep. the pressure now watch this i'm going to put i'm going to show oh by the way i love this the little light the little led right. light on the end smart smart so you smart. can see where you're putting your air here's you how go. easy it is you all you do is you place the uh the little uh four inch tube in there you tighten it down mm -hmm. and then you've got a place for all of your uh attachments there's that one you know the needle that you never could find and you yeah. you lose when you're for a your kid? football baseball yeah exactly <laughs> Well, here it is, okay? So you place it here, screw it on, you're ready to go. Now, if you're on the road, if you're a soccer mom, a soccer dad, this is a great solution for you. You don't have to huff and puff. You don't have to worry about how many uh, quarters that I bring to get something pumped up for your car. Look at this. This is inflated and done. That's it. That's how long it took. Is that amazing? That's amazingly powerful. Is that cool or <laughs> that what? That is awesome. Hey, you know what's so funny is that every time we had a, because our footballs, I don't know what it is, the temperature change in Florida, they always seem to shrink up. And yep. so, I, and, and you sit there and you try to go find the bike tire pump and that thing is really hard to do. And then you can't find the little adapter uh -huh. that goes on it. But here's where this kind of really goes over the top. Have you ever tried to blow up a raft on the beach <laughs> for your kids? And all of a sudden you're like, I, I feel lightheaded. I believe I'm going to hit the sand in a minute. You shouldn't do that. This takes care of that. Watch the little blow up toy. I'm telling so you. So it has the adapter that, no that fits in. And puffing, oh my gosh. I know the adapter. I just put the different adapter on. These adapters all come with 
they live on board, so you know exactly where those adapters are at all times. You don't have to have quarters. You don't have to use the old hand pump. You don't have to use a foot pump. Now you're ready to go. If you're going out to the pool, if you're going out to the beach, this pumps everything up like that. It's such an easy solution. Bike tires, there's so many different times you're gonna use this, you're gonna yeah. love it. All right, so let me tell you, our, our price is $10 off. Are they doing free shipping too with this? Oh my gosh! All what? right, you're, yeah, it's free shipping. You can see right there. See How'd the you red. do that? And it's only sixteen sixty-five. So, here, listen. Let me tell you this: we only get it to have it in your car because I, I know. Let me tell you something: trying to find a gas station, and then now you know, gas air's not free. You nope. have to put five quarters in a machine, and you have to run around your tires really, really quickly right, to get right. them filled Racing up the clock. before it dies. Or you can have this, and I will tell you. This is the smartest, one of the smartest must-have tools you can have in your arsenal against emergency-type surprise oh, things yeah. that happen Take to you, okay? Road trip. And remember, if you don't know the air pressure, because a lot of people don't realize that, you know, it's written on the inside of your gas, uh, your little flippy thing for your, where your gas cap is, you don't need to know that. You can read it on the tire, and then you simply pop, the, you hit the little digital thing on the back. So if it's 32, 34, 36, like my tires on my car, those low profile, you gotta, you gotta jack those things up to like 40. You just pop it on, it's got the little LED light on the back, and you can do it. How many times has Danny had to take a dollar down to the corner to go to the air pump because his bike tires right, are Right, exactly. Yeah. So can, hey, Dad, do you have a dollar? Yeah, do you have four quarters? Uh, no, I have nickels. Do nickels yeah, work? No, no nickels. But here, you saw that. We just, I just pumped up that tire, you you pull the trigger, you walk away. And it it's turned itself off, Right to the that. right side. Yeah. And it's never gonna over inflate. You never have to. <sighs> that sounds labor. It's like a whale. Hey, like you know a, something a else? This, let me tell you something else. This, this when the, like, cause I've done that on bike tires, mm -hmm. I've used that. When the bike tire gets, starts to get full, it's really hard yeah. to get the last few uh, yeah, pounds this, per square inch in there. This one? Here's a foot one. Yeah. I've uh, literally like hurt myself cause you push yeah. down and then it, it springs yeah. back and tries to throw you across the garage. There's no, That's there's no a lot push of, button That's on not that a thing. lot of fun. Here was a good one. People invented this a few years ago. This is good, but you have to plug it into one of those 12 volt if you don't it's no good at all if you if you lose power in your car you're you're out of business yeah but here again completely cordless rechargeable this is how you get the soccer ball now watch this now watch this we've got a flat soccer ball this here's, makes mom and dad a hero yeah that's right and watch <laughs> i'm gonna do it really slowly so you can see First of all, you're gonna turn it on, okay? You're gonna press one button to turn it on. Now I'm gonna pull the trigger right here. Pull the trigger, and in a matter of seconds, you have filled up the tire. This is the basketball. The game can now go on. It'll automatically stop when it reaches the pressure. If you want to stop it, all you do is touch the trigger one more time, and it automatically stops it. And now you're, you're back to base. You, listen, nice. Yeah! That's nice. Um, Let's go. You know what's great about this? To own your own compressor is a really cool thing, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be a luxury. I mean, honestly, I'd pay $100 for this thing in a heartbeat, and you will pay $100, $150 for these big industrial compressors that you need to plug in. Um, instead, you can just utilize this. So when Danny was... Um, Matt, when Danny was like, I yes. don't know, maybe five, six, seven years mm -hmm. old, he used to have sleepovers all the time. And uh, and so he, they always wanted to be in the air mattress. Uh, now I will tell you that, that the air mattress, here's the problem with the air mattress there. Yes, it came with a pump, mm -hmm. but you also had to buy D batteries for this thing. And you really? can, you'd only get about, the D batteries only work about two or three times on blowing the air mattress up. And D batteries are expensive. Yeah, um, absolutely. They're, you know, they're, you're spending like seven, eight dollars for, for mm -hmm. you know, a two pack of those things. This you use over and over because it's a rechargeable battery. So you can use this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gone to the beach again and you're, <laughs> you know, here in Florida, the last thing you want to do is be, uh, is be consuming any type of beverage and then blow something <laughs> up. Honestly, yeah. because Why it's not good for you. Why does the beach ball smell like beer? Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's not a good thing. Beach ball. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you simply take this with you. And as we said, you're going to get about 20 minutes of fill time, so, exactly so that right. beach ball took, what, took a couple, it took I love it. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, so think about that. You can do 20 or 30 air, you know, air toys, depending on how big they are. So Absolutely. Now some, you, if you try blowing that up, so <laughs> we're gonna find you laying on the ground somewhere. Some of dude. them are bigger than us. Some of the pool toys yeah. are a little bigger than others, you know, down here in Florida, we, we know all about pool toys. You know, one of the other, uh, this is my buddy, Al, 
You, you know Al, you've met Al. Go over there, Al. Now, one of the other features we never even talk about, Guy, yeah. is that, like, let's say that you're on the road. Let's let's say that you uh, used up your charge or whatever, or you need to, you need to fill up the uh, tires and you're on the side of the road. In an emergency, you can take the battery off, and they didn't charge extra for this, this comes right with it, is a separate attachment that goes on, and there's a cord that will go, and you can plug this in, and you can use it directly from your car's uh, power. So that's how easy it is. They give you everything. It comes in this small case. It's not something big and heavy that's gonna clunk around in the back of the car. This is the easy solution. This is the Airhawk Pro. This is the one that you yeah. want. And let me show you every, everybody what you get with this too. So, so you get two ways to charge this thing up. You can, as we said, charge it in your car. Uh, it comes with the Airhawk bag. So uh, basically you keep your compressor inside there and you can see it doesn't take up a lot of space versus the other ones. Um, your adapter tips are built right into it right there, okay, when you charge the battery, you simply pop, you grab these little red tabs and you push them in, and that's also how it locks on. When you order, you're also going to get, uh, you know, the adapter for to be able to do your sports balls and things like that, and then you get the, this is the money one right here, that, this little tip which allows you to be able to blow up rafts and things like that, it's ideal for it. Everything is included. No, you know, kids, and here's the thing, and it's what's funny in Florida, if you don't ride a bike, in Florida, like I keep my bikes in the shed, yeah. the tires go flat every time. Always. Always. They just, they automatically, you know, because of the heat and the temperature and uh, the, you know, the, the, the you know, how the air will dissipate through there, through yep. the, you know, the, uh, the fluctuation between hot and cold air, uh, you always have flat bike tires. And it's the same thing with a lot of car tires too. But but here's the thing, in the old days, you know, you, you really would need a very a professional compressor to do car tires. Yeah. But as Matt said, this goes over 100, what's 120 150 PSI? PSI. 50. So, That's so, like a, so a truck your tire. car tires are basically like 30 to 40. All right, a bicycle tire uh, can be anywhere from 20 to 30. Uh, when you get up to truck tires, they go up over 100. This can blow up an industrial truck tire. Okay, yeah, we got two that. minutes Biggest left, and Matt is going to show you another thing that always seems to go flat. <laughs> here you go, okay. Yeah. So you're going to go outside, and you're going to start working in the yard here in a few weeks. Well, take a look. You never seem to know that the wheelbarrow tires flat until you put a couple hundred pounds of rocks inside of it. Then you find out the tire is flat. Well, Airhawk Pro to the rescue. All you do, you press one button, it turns on, you pull the trigger, and that's it. Now watch that. It's gonna take a minute because this is a high pressure tire. And all you do is you pull the trigger and it lifts the entire piece all the way that up off the ground. That shows you the power. It fills the tire. Yeah, it's it's not wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. This is serious stuff. And you know what I like too, my uh, Matt, is like you said, is that you don't you can walk away from it. Yeah. Because when it reaches the correct PSI that you push into it, it'll automatically turn off. So that's another case of it makes we make it so simple. You don't even yep. really need to know no. anything. If you want to just do it until it. it's full, you can do that. You know, with your bike tires, usually know by touch. Yeah. When they're full enough, um, you really can't Set make a mistake. Pull the trigger, walk yeah. away, and you're done. All right, we are extremely busy. This yep. is on price break today. Great value. I got a lot of moms and dads that are sitting there and thinking, oh my gosh, this would be <laughs> great for us. This would be great for our daughter who just had kids. Oh, yeah. Don't make dad have to blow this thing up. <laughs> we, uh, you want me to pass out? <laughs> We want Dad to, to be ready to go swimming. We don't want Dad to be passed out on the I beach. I know, I know. Look at this. How great is that? That is fantastic. Fills up. It's ready to go. Now yeah. you can. Now you can play basketball. It's, it really is awesome. Okay. You see, we have about a minute left. Um, take advantage of free shipping. It's this is not um, cheap to ship out. It costs five bucks. So uh, yeah. we'll take that off the top. If you want to get this for thirty nine, you can grab yourself mm -hmm. an HSN credit card today, and uh, we have our ten dollar promotion. There's nothing else you need to deal with. Uh, you don't have to pay a, or spend a minimum or nothing like that. You just get the card and you get ten dollars off. Use it when you want. And uh, become uh, the nice thing about having an HSN credit card, by the way, too, is you, you get all these extra perks to go along with it. So it's truly a great deal. I know we're getting down to the time, but we're going to add a little bit more time onto this because we're doing, it's, yep. it's just doing really well. We knew it did. We would do well. Shannon uh, did crazy with it yesterday. And it, you know what's good? I'm glad that we she did it yesterday and I did it today because whether you're a mom or mm -hmm. a dad, you know, you know, sometimes you're the only one home and the kids <laughs> want their bike tires filled up. And if it's you, dad, or you, mom, either, either one of you, and you don't really know how to do it, all you got to do is take the little pen and stick it in the hole and squeeze the trigger. 
all that you need to know. It's not complicated. I like the simple stuff. Hey, tell me something. You know, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you this. If I saw a mom like out like out there like using this pumping up the tires, I'd be like, that's a mother that's got it going on. That's exactly she knows right. that is a woman that is prepared. That's right. Not a pocket and knows full of quarters. You don't need a pocket going full of quarters. No. You don't need to charge you a to... buck. It, it, last time I checked, is it? The vacuum, I think, is a dollar fifty. Fifty. Yeah. And the va and the air thing is a dollar twenty five. Yeah, dollar twenty five. We need to open up. We what, need to open those minutes. up. Yeah, you, you get, get three minutes. You have barely have enough time to take the dang caps right. off. And here's a tip: if and you do, and then you're pulling the, the cord across your car, you're scraping you have, up your car. If you do this have to go there for some reason, take the caps off before you put the money Ooh. in. Yeah, I don't. I didn't do that the you're last pretty, time. I was you're like, frugal. But do, do here, good. you want to do a better better thing? Buy this, and then you'll have it forever. And by the way, it only takes. I think it takes an hour, hour and a half to charge. An hour and a half to charge give you up to 20 minutes of run time, so that's Fantastic. more than enough time to fill up all, all the bike tires, everything, you're ready to go. All right, get it on FlexPay, it's 1665, and remember, I know it's March, but th the season never ends for having to fill stuff up with air. Thank you, my friend, good job. Thank you, and thank you. All right, we are gonna move on. Uh, again, yesterday we had a, a great morning show, and uh, we brought Mr. Michael Sullivan in with his brand new mop. It's called the Hurricane in and out mop. You see, what we found, and what this company found, is that a lot of people like their nifty swifty mops. You know, the ones that are easy to push around, they're the perfect size. You, uh, you, you spend a lot of money on the little, on the little cloths because you gotta buy those over and over. So what Michael and his friends did is they said, why don't we create a super quality uh, mop like that, that actually, where you don't have to buy the pads over and over and over again. You get the pads, you get the mop, and for the first time ever, you can actually wash the mop, and that's what makes it so neat. When you order it today, let me show you exactly what you're gonna get. So moms and dads out there, you need to pay attention. This is a real, this is unique, cool technology. So you get a real mop um, a handle, not a little cheapo one that you're gonna throw away. You get a real one uh, with a big comfort uh, grip at the top, and this is a squishy grip. It's not hard plastic, comfortable on the hands. We're gonna give you two of the pads. One of the pads is for general uh, cleaning, and you can use them wet or dry. The other one has these little scrubby fingers in it, so when you need to really scrub a floor, you can do that as well. And the magic here is in the bucket itself, because the bucket has two separate chambers here. In one chamber, you're gonna do the washing. And basically what you do is you take this and you go in here and you wash. And then on the other side of the bucket is how you dry it. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Anyway, this is just our sample, so I want to show you the live demo. I'm going to put that, I'll put that there for now, and we'll reset that up. Michael Sullivan is here. Michael, how you people doing, guys? went crazy Good to see you, buddy. for this yesterday. Yes. And I think, because like I said, people love this style of mop. Yes. But they don't like the little one that they got to keep buying. Exactly. And you can only really use that one dry. No, exactly. I mean, that's right? the thing. Yeah, you're right. You use this dry for dusting, but every time you use it, I mean, it costs you about a quarter every time yeah. you mop your floor. It's pretty much just like wrapping dollar bills around Throwing your mop yeah, yeah and you got to touch it with your hands now look at the difference in size you can see this is high grade microfiber this is like a paper towel on a stick the competition our handles are thicker ours is stainless steel like guy just said it's got that comfort grip on the bottom it's got a little spinning hook as well for easy storage this mop is top grade quality but what i do love guy is the bucket like you just said this is so simple so easy to use you don't have to graduate from Harvard Mop School. One side to wash, the other side to dry. Just like Guy said, it's a double chamber system. Now we have a clear plexiglass at the front here because I want to actually show you uh, how this works. Obviously at home, you're not going to have the, the, the glass like that. Um, but look at this. This is your washing side. It's just like a washing machine for your yeah. mop. You then just take it out of here. You place it in the dryer side. That's how you dry your mop. One side to wash, the other side to dry. It's got waterfall technology right here. Um, the more you pump down on the handle, obviously the drier the mop pad gets. So if you've got wood floors, it's absolutely fantastic because right. you control how wet the mop pad is. Now, microfiber, I don't need to give you a lesson on microfiber. If you are a professional cleaner, or if you know of a professional cleaner, you know that microfiber is used all the time. It will leave no streak marks or smear marks whatsoever on any surface. Whether you have linoleum floors, whether you have ceramic tiles, whether you have hardwood floors, whether you have marble, any type of floor surface, no problem whatsoever for the in and out mop. Now, it's got that flat, 
design. It's got a 360 degree swivel head, which allows you to get right up against your baseboards just like so, or behind your toilet bowl. All those difficult to reach areas. Now I just cleaned that whole entire mess. Now all you gotta do, look, is just turn them up this way, you lift it up, it will spring into action. There is your mess. Ugh. I just picked up in the mop. Now that's how dirty that floor was. Now how do I get this clean? Now I want you to watch this because when I put it into the bucket, this is why we put the clear glass at the front because when you push down though, you can see how it releases all that dirt, all that nastiness right out of the mop pad, right into the bucket where it belongs. It makes good, good sense. You then just place it in the dryer side. One side to wash, the other side to dry. You can see right here, that's the waterfall technology, okay? The nice part is, you're always mopping your floor with a clean Look at microfiber that. mop pad. That's brilliant. Now, like you said earlier, that, like, we get you get two pads with this. Yeah, you get yeah, one yeah. for like polishing, which is like normal microfiber. The one I'm using right here has those built-in non-abrasive scrubbers, okay? Which is great if you've got tile floor, uh, if you want to clean your grout. Yeah, I would, I would probably maybe not use those on a hardwood because yeah. the hardwood's a little more delicate, but we give you two of the pads. So yes. this would be like kitchen bathroom and this one would be like your regular floors uh, doing that, but we give you both. Now, Michael, we don't throw these away, right? No, no, we do not throw these away, okay? Your hands will never touch this dirty mop pad. Uh, your hands will never touch the dirty, disgusting mop water. You can put it in a washing machine if you want, okay? Yeah. But you, personally, you just use the bucket. I know. This is pretty much just like a washing machine and a dryer right. for your mop. You can rinse it off even yeah. under under your kitchen sink and just put it back yeah. in the dryer and then just hang it up and it'll dry on its own. Yesterday, uh, I've, so many people, I think uh, close to 2,000 people yeah. picked this up. So if you, if if you did pick one up yesterday and you want to call us, our, my producer Kyle is going to put our testimonial line up for you. We'd love to hear from you. It's a great way to kind of share it. And, and I, to be honest, you know, I know you, you, you've got your choices here. A lot of people have I've picked up the spin mop. I have gravitated towards this mop just because it's better. It's a better style for my house. Michael, with all the different chores that yeah. I have to do. My, uh, you know, I, uh, my, um, my house, the way the floors are situated, my kitchen floor, my bathroom floor. I love how you can turn the handle. It yes. has like power steering so I can get around the toilet bowl. I can get, number one reason I got, I, I got one like this is to get under my bed because this lays completely flat exactly. when you're cleaning. It does, yeah. And we'll underneath show you that. the bed, underneath the yeah. couch, all those difficult to reach spots. Um, here I'm gonna show you how it works on like a tile floor if you have a marble floor. Um, the microfiber, obviously it's like, a, it's like a polisher for your, your floors really. Now if you spend all this money on expensive floors, why not get a mop that works, okay? Remember this does get into your corners, all those difficult to reach spots. It does mm -hmm. lay down, just like Guy Look said, that. completely flat. I mean honestly, Michael, you're like, that's like a two or three inch profile Oh right yeah, there. I know, and, and you'll be surprised how much dirt is actually underneath the bed oh or underneath Lord. the couch. Right. Now, if you've got a water sensitive surface like travertine right here, again, it's microfiber, it's safe to use. Those little scrubbers, remember, they do help to clean the grout. Okay, so yeah. it is safe to use if you have a, a travertine floor or water right. sensitive surface. And a lot of those floors you can't use steam on because it gets too yeah. hot for travertine. So um, that's why this is good because you can use your tap water and you can make the water hot or yes. room tower, whatever oh, you want. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, here, I don't know what the guys put on this, but this is like real sticky, gooey, nasty stuff. I can't even get this off of my nails, look. Watch the power of microfiber. If you have an old, dingy, nasty tile floor or a linoleum floor, grab the Hurricane in and out mop. It is absolutely a game changer. It leaves no streak marks, it leaves no smear marks, it will leave that nice high gloss shine every single time on any surface. Now, I've just cleaned that tile floor. I, yeah, I love it. I've cleaned uh, the travertine. We've yep. polished uh, the marble right there. Then what happens when you go around Guy's house? There's all his drinking hey, friends. Now, yeah, it's not me. Yeah. It's all people it's all come in my house. They like spill their red wine well, or their beer. And, and I think at this point you'd think, okay, I gotta go get a thousand paper yes. towels or I need the big rag mop, which is just a, dis a science experiment and nasty and disgusting. Wait till you see how absorbent this yes. is. I mean, that's the cool thing about this mop is it's not just good for dry messes, it's great for spills yeah. as well. And believe it or not, but spills, they do happen all the time, especially if you've got like a nervous 
puppy dog. Sure. You know, look at that. Now I've just cleaned the tile floor. I've wow. cleaned the vinyl floor. I picked up like almost like a, you know, like a good couple glasses of red wine right there. Then all you gotta do is look, just flip them up this way, lift it up, it will spring. That's my to favorite the, uh, part. Like so there and you look, go, you look can what's see. on there. You can see how nasty, right, Michael? There's the dirt. I mean, that is all that nastiness Ooh. that I just cleaned up. Now, how do I get this clean? You just yeah. take it over to, the, this is the game changer right here, the in and out bucket, okay? Now the reason they call this the in and out bucket because it goes in dirty, it will come out clean. Now it just use simple pump action just like so. You can see how it's a dual chamber bucket, okay? So you got one side, it's for washing, the other side is for drying, so you just fill this up with hot water. Yeah. It's got the uh, handle, it's got two, um, Two sprouts at the bottom sure. also that you can use to you uh, for put, easy. You can put whatever cleaner you want to put in no, there. Absolutely, absolutely. I, sometimes vinegar works if you don't want to, if you yeah. want to go more natural. But what I love about this, Michael, is that you never put you never reapply that nasty stuff back onto the floor. You wash the mop head pretty much every time. Yes. And, I the, mean, and the, the, the crud falls to the bottom of the bucket. Yeah, and you yeah. can see right there, I mean, that is how clean your mop pad is, every time you mop your floor, you're always cleaning your, 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 your floors with a, like it's pretty much like a brand new mop. If you ask me, that makes good sense. Why are you gonna use a dirty, disgusting mop every time? Yeah. Why do you have to go to the stores <laughs> all the time to buy these little pads, this paper towel on a Can stick? Can I show them? It costs you a fortune. It's flimsy. I, I know, right? This I know. is what you're paying for. <clears throat> I want you to look at, all right, so look at our pad. And look at look at the way you're cleaning it. This is a piece of paper, guys. Yeah. So it's a little, it's glorified piece of paper. Or you're going to use something that's really going to clean. Here's the issue, and 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 plus you've got to touch this, and you got to tuck all that gunk into there. Hey, listen, I I, I am not poo pooing the idea of this. It's great if you're looking for a if you're looking for a throwaway way to clean your house, and you don't want to save money. Um, you can go ahead and buy that, and, and I have no issue with it. It's it, the design was brilliant when it came out, and we all that's why we kind of have the same similar design. But what Michael and, and his guys did is they said, let's make it bigger. Yes. Let's make it more, uh, you know, affordable. Yes. In, in that people don't have to go out and buy these pads over and over and over again. Um, and let's make it more substantial because this, yeah. this is like a little toothpick right here. And, and like I said, it's, it wasn't a bad item. It's a good item, but I think this is the way to go if you if you use them all the time. No, exactly. Right? And you can see here for like a, a wood surfaces, okay? I mean, it works unbelievable. Just apply a little bit of pressure. You can use it to remove those stubborn scuff marks and we've got crayon messes we've got doggy footprints we've got all sorts of nastiness right here yeah. um, even if you had like some they like, say someone spilt some orange juice on the floor no problem whatsoever if you've got a puppy dog spill this mop will work just yeah. like a thirsty camel look in the Sahara Desert no look problem whatsoever now it weighs less than two pounds okay so if you want to clean up and down your stairs wow. okay it's super lightweight Easy to clean up and down your stairs, no problem whatsoever. What I love about this mop too is you can turn it on its side, okay? Now you can use what? it to mop or clean the kick plate. I mean, they used to sell a tool out there which was a, a massive product and it was just for cleaning baseboards. It's pretty much this. And it, they, they charge you $20 just, just for, for that the, one just thing, for the tool. I know. Here you're getting something that you can use not just on your floors, but baseboards, windows, mirrors, shower walls, sidings of your house any type of yeah. surface. Now I picked up that orange juice right there, but even if you wanna use this for dusting, now you can use it dry for dusting, you can use it slightly damp for mopping. This has orange juice in the mop head, but you can see right here, yeah. for dusting, it is absolutely fantastic. That 360 degree swivel head look allows you to get right into those corners, those difficult to reach spots. No problem whatsoever. It's got that low profile design. What I love about this mop is you don't have to put like a towel down underneath your feet to dry your floor. In less than about 30 seconds, I'll say your floors are gonna be, you know, dry enough to walk on. I mean, I just mopped that floor. I picked up orange juice, I picked up dust. I mean, you can see how dry that floor is. I mean, this, if you're looking for a flat mop, Hurricane in and out mop is definitely. It is. Changer. It is. And I, as I said before, these are the kind of mops when that when that you know when the little Swiffy mop came out, I was hey listen, I was first in line to grab one of those things. I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. Uh, but but after a while, you run you run out of the things, and then you try to put, <laughs> and then you know what you do you try to put paper towels in there, and it doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, I know you've probably done the same thing. Why not get a mop that's going to last you one that's going to last you a long long time? And remember, when you order, we're going to give you two pads. We give you the um, the traditional pad, and this is the one that I use for dusting 
Um, but you can also spray it with whatever. You can use your dusting polish on there as well. And you can do the tops of pieces of furniture like, um, you know, dressers and things like that. Uh, uh, cupboards, things that are really big, you can dust the top because you can get up there and, you, and see how flat it lies. So you can go like this. And I do that. I actually get on top of my refrigerator, which, which you can't reach because there's a shelf above it. But this I can get between the refrigerator top and the shelf and I can clean that. So we give you that pad. And then we're also going to give you the scrubby pad. Uh, these uh, fit on. They just, they just uh, stick right on the back. So you get both these pads. They're washable. You can wash and dry them. But remember, you have a built-in washing machine that comes along with this. On one side is wash. On the other side is dry. And all you do again to wash it, you'll have your, your sticky, stinky mop here. You go in here, and this is how you wash it. And you can see there's even a little spot where it's channeled out. So this goes through. And then afterwards, you slide it over one. And then you just dry. And that's how you dry it. And then you go right back and you do the... Your, your job. What I love about it is you fill this bucket one time with hot soapy water or with hot water and vinegar, whatever it is you like to clean with, I don't care. Um, you could use Nellie's for goodness sake if you wanted to, if you wanted to go more natural. But the nice thing is, is that it's going to clean all these messes. And you see, uh, this is this is it dry. And I have, I will tell you, I've never seen a Miro demonstration as, as, as good as this. That's because of the microfiber material that's on here. It is, yes. it has like little fingers, right? Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, no one is ever gonna mop your floor. I mean, no one, I, mean, I should say mop a, mop a mirror, okay? I mean, I am mopping a mirror. I no one has mirror. mirrors on hey, their floors. I would mop my mirrors with that. Are you kidding me? If I had big stand-up mirrors, I'd use it. I know, I mean, you can see right there, the difference is night and day, okay? So if it gets a mirror this clean, you can imagine how clean it's gonna get your floors. Now, I'm using the other microfiber pad right here. This is great, like Guy said, for wood floors. Um, and it really leaves that nice, you know, you can see right there. It's, I mean, look at the difference. That's yeah, dirty, crazy. that's clean. Yeah. So if you want the in and out Hurricane microfiber, this is the one for you. This mop seriously is a game changer. But I want to show you how it yeah. works on like a, let's do like a sticky right. mess. And, 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 and I want to, um, Kyle, my producer said he's going to put five minutes up on the clock. Uh, and uh, so here we go. So uh, it's a race to the end here. I'm telling you, this is going to make your life so much easier. Um, you know, everything we had in the show is actually about that. It's about making life a little bit more simple. I don't want you to have to haul out. Michael, let's Show them, can I show them the nasty yes. mop first before yes. you get started? I love that demo you do. Let me show you something. <laughs> How close can you get to that, Mike? <laughs> Not too right. close because you really don't want to. Look at that. That's like it's like Medusa. Look at that. It's like that. That snakes. It's. I mean. You really want to put that on your floor. There's really no way to sanitize this. And with this one, I don't even think this mop head comes off for washing. So you kind of have to wring it out. You, you don't want to use your hands. Trust me when I say this is a better solution. It's it's a simpler one. Uh, it's easier to clean. And, and you know, I think a lot of people think that when you have a big mess, Michael. Yes. That's the only way to clean it is with uh, is with the sponge. Or, yeah, but, I mean, but you thing, watch what this does. I mean, you get like a sponge mop like this. All you're going to do is like just push the mess backwards and forwards. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, when you nothing. push down on that handle here, it sandwiches that dirt right back into the sponge. So you're always mopping your floor pretty much with a dirty, disgusting sponge. Look, why not use the in and out mop? You've, we've got right here, we've got a wet mess. We have a dry mess and we have a sticky mess. So we've got like a hot chocolate. I mean, I've got hot, hot chocolate everywhere right here. Let's get that bit on the baseboard. Look at that. We'll clean the baseboard first. Then we're gonna get right up against the baseboards. Now we're gonna pick up the wet mess, okay? You don't necessarily have to sweep or vacuum with this mop. So it will pick up the particles that your vacuum might leave behind. Now that was a sticky, gooey, nasty mess right there. That was a dry mess, a wet mess, and uh, a sticky, gooey mess as well. Man, you Everything, got a lot in there. Where did it all go? I know, every, where did it go? That is the question. Everything <laughs> is stuck where did it go? inside the microfiber mop wow. pad right there. Now, to get this clean, remember this is the game changer. Here it is, the Hurricane in and out Watch. bucket. Remember, this is what you need. You can see right there, this is the one with the plexiglass. Obviously, you're not getting this, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. I just want to only. show you, yeah. But when you push down on the handle, okay, you can see how it's, it's like a squeegee, pretty much. It yeah. just releases all that chocolate nastiness, that chocolate sundae, that dry chocolate, the sticky chocolate. Yep. Everything gets released right into the bucket. I mean, it makes good, good sense. You then just place it out of the washer side. You take it into the dryer side. Look at that, waterfall technology. Your mop pad is gonna come out completely clean. Now, obviously, the faster you, I mean, the more you pump down 
on the handle, yeah. the drier the mop pad gets. You can see how the water gets released yep. right there from that waterfall technology. And the pad, you saw how dirty, how nasty how that pad that was. Is. I mean, look right. at the difference right there. Let me try this thing. Sure. You're gonna set me up because I want everybody to know that even though he's a very talented, nice <laughs> young man, he doesn't have any special, extra special mopping <laughs> skills other than he does it over and over. But uh, what I love about this, honestly, is I said, um, and you know, my mom is in her 80s, and, and so if you've got issues with your hands and you can't haul around a big mop, and by the way, it works in any direction, as you see. And I, I do this intentionally. I'm actually using one arm with this to show you how easy this works and I and again just one you can see I'm just using one hand one I'm hand. not I'm not doing this you don't have to because I want you to know that you can look good and be casual and just <laughs> hang out and you can still mop your floors and I have not washed it and I, I spin it around because I show you this is actually a really way to utilize it because it utilizes the entire surface of the mop you know if you if you just mop in one direction then everything kind of gets soaked up into one part of the mop and then uh, the rest of the mop stays it stays clean and you only have one part of it dirty with this as you can see on the back and I will tilt it down Absolutely. there you go you can see how much of that has gotten in there and how evenly I've mopped it up but honestly if you look at this I call this power steering with one hand you can see how it does a complete revolution that's so when you're near a toilet bowl you can go around the toilet bowl right you can go watch me go in a circle that is getting all around, you know, the base of the bowl where, uh, you know, a lot of your kids have a tendency to think that that's where you're supposed to go uh, because they miss their little target. Well, uh, I don't want to get down there on my hands and knees. I surely don't yeah. want to touch anything with right. my hands. And at the end of the day... I want you to try the bucket, actually. Here we go. Look it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you, let you do it. Yeah, yeah. It's your first, first, this is guys' first time, first time using this. There we go, look, what one side to wash. Me? I mean, how does it, it's pretty simple to use, right? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And watch what happens to it as I'm doing it. You see, the more you do it, the cleaner and cleaner it gets, and come all the way to the top. I mean, it's, it's as clean as you want to get it, and then you lift it out. And then on the back here, this is great, Michael, this is, and the watch where the water channels, you'll see how it channels off, and that dries your mop. That's all you need to do. It's real easy, just kind of flies in. You can go fast or slow. And then, there I am. I've got, a, I've got my mop ready to go again, so if I want to finish yeah. to mopping it up, and that's what you do, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and the thing is, your hands will never, ever touch that dirty, disgusting mop pad. Your hands will never, ever touch the disgusting mop water, okay? You never, ever have to go to the store to buy those refills I'm as good, ever as, I'm again. As, good as you on now, this now. I know, you, I, I know yeah. you're going to take my job. I am. I am mopping this stuff I'm, up. I'm, <laughs> I'm training you good. Yeah, I know you. Well, <laughs> you know what you, you showed me too is that the learning curve on this is not is nothing. You just have to you, just turn the mop like, like you're driving a car. Just kind of go back and forth, turn it around, and that's all you need to do. And you'll know when it's time to wash it because when you, you can feel when it's not as absorbent and then when you're all done, you, you hand it off to Michael and you let, <laughs> let me do all, all the hard work. <laughs> all right. Uh, Michael, you did an incredible job. Thanks again. Uh, and I know, Michael, you'll be seeing him throughout uh, throughout the next, well, forever you'll be seeing him. Uh, this We know this mop is doing great. We're really excited for you. Hey, I want to remind everybody quickly, uh, we still have the Airhawk Pro Compressor. Uh, hundreds of you picked that up in this airing. Uh, it's only $49.95. You can get it for $10 less if you have it in your brand new H10 credit card. And shipping is free today as well. It's only $16.65 on FlexPay. Love this to be prepared. And now's the time to buy it because, you know, summertime's going to be, you're going to be filling up all all those, uh, you know, kids' toys and beach balls and basketballs and all that stuff, uh, and it works on anything else, your car tires. If you drive a truck, it goes up to 150 PSI, it'll pump up truck tires, okay? So, and you get about 20 minutes on a charge, so it's perfect to have in an emergency. You're going to love that. All right. Uh, craft month is coming up soon. In fact, I have crafting. Actually, this is craft month. We're, we're celebrating it. I have two hours of crafting tomorrow, so make sure you join me. I'm excited about that. Uh, we're going to come right back. We've got our best value of the day from the Kingman Mind. Stick around. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. April is Customer Appreciation Month. 
To show how much we appreciate you, HSN Cares will donate $1,000 every day in April to charities you love. Nominate your favorite charity now through March 11th and help make a difference in your community. Search HSN Cares at hsn.com now to learn more. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. 